Well, my next trail is called Cottonwood Creek Trail. Still in Southern California. And um, this is what it looks like. I'm going down into this valley down in here. So here we go. Well, this is where I've come from. You can see how steep it is. And now I come to a fork in the road right here. One here and one here. According to oil trails, it's telling me to go this way. So I'm going to start this way. It looks pretty, pretty tight with all the bushes in here. Let's see. I'm really having to bend over quite a bit in order to get down through here. Looks like I'll be able to stand up once I hit this area over here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. All right, opened up a little bit. Well, behind me, you can see where I've come from. Up, uh, let's see, up that way. And, um, where I'm heading, I'm, you know, I'm working my way down into the canyon. So I've come across this area here. Still got a little ways to go down. Oh, probably another 100 yards or so as far as how far I go down. And this, this trail was supposed to be a, like a mile and a half round trip. Well, I should have read those reviews because... It's going to be all uphill coming back. Ah, coming down to the trail, I noticed in the distance there's a little bit of a waterfall down through there. Cottonwood Creek Falls. Well, I got a nice surprise. I didn't realize there were cascading falls. There's a smaller one. And you can see another one like up here. But in the distance, there's a bigger one. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to head up that way. This morning when I first started out, I was heading out to uh, Dead Horse Creek Falls and it was 39 degrees, I had my vest on, I had gloves on, I had a nip hat on, and um, had a long sleeve shirt on, it was freaking cold. <laughs> and so I thought, well, let me get on this trail and I'll start out, but I don't think I need my vest. So I left my vest back at the van. Right down here at the bottom of the trail, it's now 10.40 a.m. Man, I am stripped down to my t-shirt and uh, no hat, no gloves, and my shirt is wet just hiking down into this canyon. So, gotta be prepared for most anything. Here's what I've been looking at. Yep, two hands high. Well, this is what I had to scale to get up here. And I'm not quite through yet. Let me see what's on the other side of this little knoll here. Yeah, it's more creek. 
Man, it was all hands and feet to get up here. Well, I can tell that during the heavy rain, it comes down through here too. I'm gonna go do some more scampering. Ah, another surprise. Beautiful stuff. Now here's what's enticing. You know, I like to get right there. But to get there, I've got to get across this creek. This is a bunch of old dead limbs and trees, which I don't know is would hold my weight. But maybe I could jump across the creek. But uh, once I jump across, there's about a four foot jump there. I don't know if I can get back across. Huh. Well, I gotta put the camera in my pocket and jump. Well, as you can tell, I made that jump. Look how clear this water is. That's gotta be at least three feet deep down there. Man, can you imagine what this would look like after a storm? Holy mackerel. It'd be coming down from way up there. Sometimes timing is everything. You can see how wide this is. So, it's been roaring down through here sometimes. Okay, my next little feat is to get on my hands and knees and crawl up there to see where this creek, it, what it looks like you know, above this little waterfall area. So here it goes. Made it up. Looks like might be more surprises up this way. I'm gonna head up this way to see what's around this big rock here. Ah, uh, found this little area. But then again, up a little further, there's another little cascading area. So I'll venture up that way too. Well, I've made it up a little bit further into the canyon. And uh, I want to kind of show you what it looked like. You know, I had my backpack on and weighs about 25 pounds. And I had to do a lot of scampering to get over these boulders and up these cliff edges. So I left it down there when I first uh, came across these uh, this creek. And so now I'm just going around with just me and the camera. Creek comes from that direction. It looked like machete time, and I didn't bring my machete. Looks like it's time to start back down. Well, I'm coming back down, and I was missing my backpack. I thought, where did, where did I leave it? And I thought I left it up there by that waterfall. I didn't. Come down through here and I'm going, ah, there it is. Thank goodness. I was getting kind of worried where it was. Made it back to my van, all the way out of that canyon without stopping. So I'm finally able to take a break. Another list checked on Bill's bucket list.